Fiction has always been a platform to investigate society's hopes and fears. Plenty of research has been done around portrayals of the future in film and literature, but until now, little study has been dedicated to video games. So far, representation research into video games seems to be mostly about the portrayal of women and issues surrounding race. These are both very important topics, but they lack a certain sense of scale. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the way the future is portrayed in video games. This video is going to be a brief overview of the topic, so I'm going to break it up into categories. The first of these categories will be robots. Now, there is a vast range of robots portrayed in games, but the ones I'm talking about here are those with human level intelligence. So, pretty much robots that could potentially pass off as being human such as in the case of the Fallout series. Called synths, these robots become so advanced and human-like that they can pass as regular people. In fact, one of the recruitable companions in Fallout 4 is Nick Valentine, a hard-boiled detective who is in fact a synth. As we're talking about robots, we can't go past the incredibly popular Overwatch. Overwatch follows a team of heroes put together to combat the uprising of a major robot rebellion. While some of these robots are shown to have the capacity for extreme violence, there are also some who believe they have a soul, and many just wish to live peacefully alongside humans. All of this talk of peace and war brings me to my next topic, which is weapons. Due to the often violent nature of video games, games set in the future often show advanced weaponry and armour. Overwatch being a great example as the heroes have a range of advanced weapons, such as D.Va, and her technically advanced mech with fusion cannons and a defense matrix capable of shooting incoming projectiles out of midair, or Symmetra, and her photon projector which uses balls of energy to attack enemies or create shields. Advanced weaponry in games isn't anything new though. The first Halo game came out in 2001 and included extremely advanced alien weapons, such as the Convent weapons, which are plasma and energy based, or the Forerunner weapons, which use hard light technology, which allows light to be turned solid. And although it's not technically designed to be a weapon, I'm still going to mention the Plasma Cutter from Dead Space, just because it's cool. And of course, we can't talk about video games set in the future without mentioning the Apocalypse. According to video games, there are many ways that this apocalypse will happen. A popular theme seems to be that of games like The Last of Us, which predict a disease will spread to most of the population of course resulting in zombies, which leads to the destruction of society as we know it. Or maybe the zombies will be caused by nuclear radiation, such as the ghouls in the Fallout series. In the case of Fallout though, the zombies are more just a result of an apocalyptic situation, namely a nuclear war, which in our current political climate doesn't seem like that much of a stretch. The nuclear war in Fallout leads to the complete degradation of society, with the world being governed by whoever has the most guns. I say the world, but the Fallout games only really show the US, so who knows what everyone else is doing. In fact, this is probably a good time to point out that most of these games focus primarily on the US. But anyway, maybe we'll all be killed by capitalism and automation, such as in the case of Horizon Zero Dawn, which features a world overrun by giant mechanical creatures. But the apocalypse doesn't matter too much, because one thing that most games seem to agree on is that in the future we'll be exploring space. But we don't seem to get very far under our own steam. In the Mass Effect series, it's the discovery of ancient alien technology that allows us to access the mass relay network, giving us the ability to instantaneously be transported across the galaxy. In the Halo series, it's the discovery of slipstream space that allows us to travel great distances by travelling through other dimensions. The Doom series also had us travelling through other dimensions. Unfortunately, in this case, scientists end up opening a portal to hell on Mars. Overall, it looks like game developers aren't too optimistic about the future for Earth and humanity. If we stay on Earth, chances are we'll create some sort of apocalyptic event. We'll have the weaponry to fight off invaders, but we'll also have the weaponry to fight each other. We can go to space, but chances are we'll get attacked by aliens, or maybe even open a portal to hell. I'd love to tell you that it won't be all doom and gloom, but according to video games, maybe it will be. Fiction has always been a way to explore our hopes and fears, and I guess if video games are anything to go by, we're generally not very optimistic about the future. 
If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be making a similar one about the future as portrayed in Overwatch, or maybe Fallout, or maybe a video about HA. Haven't really decided yet. Thanks for watching.